Have you been wanting to work on your running form but you just aren't sure where to start? Today I'm going to give you four moves to get you started and on the path to better running form. One of the keys to better running form is not overthinking it. So I'm gonna give you some drills that really help your brain and your body get connected so that it can do exactly what it's supposed to. These are short and fast. If you like this, make sure you are hitting like below. Tell me you want more stuff like this. And of course, check out the entire running technique program that we have so you can get a lot more information and a lot more detail about how to put these into your routine. Up first, we have the lean. So a lot of people have heard about the lean in terms of helping you fall forward and to run faster, but we do it wrong. So this is a really small movement. The lean is coming from your ankles. So what you'll see here is a slight lean forward. The heels are staying on the ground. We hold for just a second and then come back up straight. You wanna make sure you're not bending at the waist, you're not hunching over at the shoulders. Small movement. Now, once you get to the point where you can easily do 10 reps and it feels really good, you can start to kind of pedestal one leg so you have the toe just on the ground and then you'll lift the leg all the way up. Now, again, this is working on balance. It's working on your ankle strength. A lot of good things are happening here. So while it seems simple, it is doing a ton. The second thing we're gonna work on is our arm swing. So one of the issues that we have as runners is when your arm starts crossing the midline of your body, it actually causes your hips to start twisting and it leads to hip pain, low back pain, all kinds of issues. Plus, we want all of our momentum going forward. So think to yourself wrist to elbow. That's where you're kind of seeing your arm hit on your waistline, wrist to elbow. Again, you may see sprinters with a bigger arm swing and that is because of the amount of force and propulsion they need. As distance runners, we try to economize movements, right? Next up, we are moving into a drill that is all about helping you to prevent overstriding. So it's really hard to just tell yourself not to overstride. Instead, we need to get our brain really used to the idea of our foot landing underneath our body. So we're doing a march. And what you'll notice here is the knee is not kicking behind me. It is not coming 90 degrees in front of me. It's coming in front of me, but you can see that ankle, it's kind of coming up like I'm doing a butt kick. Um, so not the traditional butt kick, but if that ankle, you know, flexibility all the way to my butt, it would be kicking it. So really look at the form and the technique here. If you can just practice this repeatedly before your runs, it will start to ingrain in your brain the idea that you want your foot landing under you. This is what's going to prevent that knee pain and really help your glutes to fire and give you power. That leads into our last drill, which is the A skip. So now we're taking that perfect movement of the march with your knee coming up, that ankle coming towards your butt, and we're adding a little bit of a hop to it. So now we're practicing that whole component of propulsion, moving you forward, the knee drive. And while these things look simple, over time, they will change your form, which will make you more efficient and it will help you to run faster. All right, gang, I cannot wait to hear from you as you put these into play. And like I said, check out the running technique program if you want five weeks of the exact drills and all the information to put it to work so that you have the best form possible.